Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, my God. Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, my God. Hallelujah. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Thank you, Jesus.
stay in the line of duty. Now, these deliveries have arranged from just recently, recently to all the way back over a year. Glory. Okay? Glory. Not my will. Because that reason, because the reason why judgment fall. Y'all remember that? Amen. Things to avoid while on our way to heaven. Amen. God is not a man that he should lie. Amen. The danger of bad judgment. Yeah. While I'm calling out these titles, I want you to see how we have fallen short in some of these things, even though these words have come forth and have been delivered to man. Yeah. The danger of bad judgment. Will you be ready? Mm. Judgment must begin at the house of God. Mm. The burdens of the man of God. Yeah. Come on. My God. Come on, the burdens of the man of God. And even since that message, who has took a while to say, I'm going to relieve some of the burdens of the man of God. To so God be the glory tonight. Ye are the salt of the earth. Yeah. That message came forth. How many have examined themselves to see have they been the salt in the earth? Oh, no. This is something that came to man of the hardest words to say. I am sorry. Yeah. Help us God. You need the Holy Ghost. That came to matter. It was delivered here. Talking about an advocate. That was delivered to matter. Reproof and corrections. That has been delivered to matter. I forgive you, but unforgiveness. What circumspectly? This is all mail that has been delivered to matter for over, uh, over a year. Repent be converted, then strengthen the brethren. That's the message that was delivered to them. The importance of being led. Obedience is better than sacrifice. Now this was sent out to me because uh, my daughter-in-law Sam put a post on Facebook, probably like a Thursday or Friday, about obedience and she gave an analogy. And then that following Sunday, Pastor Jones came out of the same scripture that she had posted that Thursday or Friday, and those two were not connected. See, God will send a word, and we'll say, oh, she talking about, and stop saying, she talking about. See, stuff's supposed to be stinging us and convicting us, but we spectating it, and we think it's coming through the flesh, but it's coming by the Holy Ghost. It's kind of like when your water bill come, and you want to get an attitude to go singing out your neighbor, because I got two washing machines. Because I got four baths on. So I'm going to go and sing out my neighbor next door. Because my water bill is not like somebody that's got one bath on. Y'all catch my drill? Righteous judgment. That's right. Humility. Walk humbly before I got mad pride is like. Come on. Your hands up like this. My God. Come on. Now. Help us, Lord. Walk humbly before your God. Come on. Jesus. Man, help us, Lord. Help us. Come on. Help us, God. Lord, help, us. Help, us. help us, God. 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 Help us, I'm going to take my time. I'm going to take my time. I'm going to take my time tonight. What's been going on? What's been going on? All these different types. Some come from the main delivery at Weezy. You with me, baby. She worked for the post office, y'all. Hello, somebody. So, hey, hello. Somebody got to get that mail together.
Help us, Lord. Lord, this male tonight. This male tonight. This male tonight. Help us, God. My knee is shaking over here. Hebrews chapter 12. Somebody go with me. We're going to start with verse 1. Jesus. What's going on? All these different spirits, you can feel it. Lord. The blood. Lord. All these attitudes. Tell me, we going to heaven. Oh, Jesus. When we all stop. Come on. Can't get together down here. Come on. What a day of rejoicing. No. Ain't going to be no rejoicing if you got unforgiveness in your heart. Ain't going to be no rejoicing if you got bitterness and strife in your heart. Every means every bit. Hello. 
in every respect, completely. Every what? Weight. Let's get a visual of weight. Weight. A mental a moral burden. The Bible says love without the stimulation. The stimulation means withholding thoughts. I love you, but I'm holding back how I really feel about you. I love you, I said I love That's that bump. We got that fist bump now since COVID been going on, right? But see, I'm going to give you my fist bump at church. But when I get with my booze, I'm going to talk about what I really feel about you. So that's why you feel that static when you get that fist bump. You just did that because you passed somebody. Jesus. It ain't going to look right if you don't. It got to be deeper than that, baby. You got to do this thing for real.
ever heard of an infestation? Baby, that ain't no one or two. It's bad. In the church, spirit of strife, infestation of strife, an infestation of rebellion, infestation of tardiness. Come on now. And then embarrassed. This we're talking about beset. Don't forget that all, everything that I'm saying now, we're talking about beset until I say we changed, okay? Amen. Be set, embarrassed. If you dare to come out the mess, now you're gonna be embarrassed. Mm-hmm. Well, what you mean by that? Cause to feel awkward, mm-hmm. self-conscious, or ashamed. <laughs> Make it difficult or complicated. You ain't in the mess no more. Watch out, because she's trying to change the girl. Watch out, Jesus. Watch out, 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 don't you want me to please God? Amen. Even if it means disappointing you. Amen. Amen. Even if it means disappointing you. Amen. Even if it means I stop. Get it right. Get it right. Invade of a parasite or disease spread in the organism or bodily part. An invasion just that came in the church. Honey, I've been quiet for a whole year and a half. So if you think I'm going to be quiet now, I'm telling you right now, I'm not going to be quiet. Just that invaded the church. If me and Pastor Jones stop coming, who's going to be here? Preachers, ask yourself this tonight. If you and your wife ain't at church, who's going to be there for real? But a spirit invade the ministry. See that one accord? Oh, I'm going to wait till the praise service over with, and then I'm going to. You used to be up here with us. Come on. Come on. Amen. Help us. That's right, we are. Help us. Need it. Need this. Amen. 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 Help us. Brother Buddy, he probably gonna be praying. You know, he's a teacher kid. Now you you don't want to be in no junk you to teach a pig. No, baby. I'm trying to tell you your prayer like this, this was prayer like that. I'm trying to do it like that. I'm trying to love everybody. You been so complicated. Yeah. Jesus. I sure hope I have friends when I finish up here. Here we go again. Yeah. 
Don't you think I get that? Yeah, man. See, you start saying that. They're going to take their stuff somewhere else. Don't you think I get tired? Perplexed, confused, mixed up. I don't know what I want to do now. I'm telling you, if the body of Christ, you can start with your, your social platform. Uh -huh. Just start tonight, go all the way down. What you talking about? Because I did. Mm -hmm. Go all the way down. Everything I said out of frustration, God said, delete it. Yes. What you been doing? What you been doing over the last year? Come on now. What you been doing? Amen. Start right there. Start on your social platform and see what you got going on. And you'll see what's been going on in your world. You'll see how you changed. You can still have on a dress and you've been changed. We're talking about the heart tonight. You can still have a washed out face, but you changed. Ah, you changed. Perplexed, confused. You've been surrounded. Hey, my God. You surrounded. They click. Oh. Jesus. I hold it no more. You ain't in this body. You're not in this body right here. God got plenty of people in his body. That's right. That's right. Agress. Quarrel. The anonym to quarrel is agree. Assail. Trash. Molest. Your spirit has been taken advantage of. Jesus. Don't get weary with me. Come on now. Amen. Your spirit has been taken advantage of. Strike. What's a strike? <laughs> Anybody off the top of your head know what strike is? Yeah. 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 Okay. So when you go on strike, what does that mean? Quick. 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 Who's in the work here? Huh? The crowd get big. Come on, somebody run up here. Come on, baby. Jesus. Come on, come on, Sam. Come on, him. Come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Jesus. 
I promise you. We gonna just all be here to the end, or y'all just gonna start walking out of here. Cause this a crime shame. This a crime shame. But yeah, we here. Yeah. We here. Right. I'm here at church 35, 45 minutes every service oh, man. <laughs> with 12 children. That's right. That's right. Amen. Crying. Amen. Shouting. Rolling on the pew. Still trying to do my best. But when you've been beset, your spirit changed. It changed the way you operate. It changed the way you praise God. You go on strike and quit the work. Yeah. That's why the pastor says, stand in the camp. That's right. Look, now, listen, the church, the spirit can live. Like, we, we are grown. But that residue must be dealt with. Yeah. And we have to deal with sin. We have to deal with our wrong ways. We have to deal with our wrong Please know I'm 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 very positive. I'm not yelling. Amen. Okay? Amen. I speak passionately. Amen. I'm not, I'm not, Amen. I'm, I'm good. Amen. Okay. I'm not upset. I'm not angry. Okay. Uh -huh. All right. So withdraw one's labor. We still talking about it. be safe. Yeah. Withdraw yeah. one's labor. Amen. I ain't working no more. Jesus. But you doing this? You doing that? Yeah. You doing this? You doing that? And it's just a couple of us up in here. <clears throat> but something that's going on at the church, hey! But right here, yes. Mm -hmm. yes. the thing that's important, right. the thing that's significant, yeah, man. the thing that carry weight, yes, the Bible says our work's going to follow us to the grave, yes. that stuff been on strike. Revolt, protest, a statement of action expressing disapproval. Opposition or objection. Take industrial action to impose inaction of work in order to force employers to agree. So now the power of influence, mm. your way, has sat on every person that you interact with. Come on. That's how we the, the one accord come in. <sighs> because without it even being visible, that spirit. Is sitting on everybody that you attach to, right. and everybody is operating in sync, yes, Lord. doing the same thing, Man, and dare anybody to say anything. So you got call a strike. Remember, a strike means to refuse to work. That's right. I don't know who called it. Then you got to be on strike. Who called the strike? Oh, Man, you need to work with them like they got the play. Uh-uh. Jesus. Rebel. Pick it. A person, a group of people standing outside a place of work or other venue protesting something or trying to persuade others not to enter during a strike. Bring it over into the church. Don't look at them standing outside all that stuff. Hold out. Hold out. Holding out on you. It's easy for me to do. If I stay clear, it don't look like I'm over here or like I'm over there. I'm going to be in the middle. No, baby, you got to be on one side. That's the right side. But when you've been beset, you will hold out. To stick to one position, especially when in opposition. Work to rule. To publicly demonstrate strong objection to an official policy or course of action. Refuse to work. Boycott. Sit down. That's a familiar term in the church, ain't it? Amen. Sit down. This one needs to sit down. That one needs to sit down. That one needs to sit down. Well, you sit down too, so we can't win. Come on. You see everybody that needs to sit down, but you sit down. So what we got to work with? What's left? Jesus. Help us, Lord. Help Jesus. Who we got to work with? 
They ain't doing it. They ain't doing it. You ain't doing it either. Amen. That's right. That's so what we got? The fact that we committed. That's right. Come what may. They probably don't want to lie by now. Right. 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 Oh, they sit outside the line. You know, you can you can let that man one sit on the timeline. You ain't gotta touch it. I don't want her to know I'm watching. God know you watching. God know you. God know you watching. Oh my God. So hit the bricks, walk out, go on and go slow. <laughs> That's how I start. I'm going to go slow. Just go slow down. You don't know that the, trick, the devil just tricking you for you to just stop all the help. Oh my goodness. He's slow walking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Anybody feel like, ugh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anybody like, I can't look to the left, can't me, it's me, it's me, oh Lord, stay with me, oh prayer. Come on, come on. Help God. Yeah. Woo. You know when you're preaching and somebody, you're like, yeah! Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, God, help. Help. Resist, leave, slow down, hold out, quit, come out, compass, yes, dog. Now you just, you just, you just being like a dog right now. Yeah. You just treat somebody like a dog just because. Just because. Now they ain't supposed to be in church. That's right. That's right. Entangle. God has filled us with the Holy Ghost, sanctified us, purified us, and now we entangled again with the yoga bondage. Why are we gonna come up in here with our sanctified self? We got this revelation. We got the apostles' doctrine down pat. We sanctify through his truth. Yes. And then we're going to miss God all together because we're entangled. Mm -hmm. We're bondage sitting right in the church. Amen. Help, help, help. help, help. That's what's going on. Amen. 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 That's right. Come on. Man. Jesus. Put the squeeze on. This how your spirit is. Come on, okay, Hannah. I know she's shy. She's like, Mama, call me. Please, <laughs> <laughs> <Squeeze> on chai. <laughs> this is how the devil been squeezing your spirit. Jesus. Service going on. Jesus. Praise Jesus. leader just sweet. Your spirit right here. Jesus. In the church now. All these Holy Ghost people. That was God. <laughs> Don't you want to be free? Yeah. Don't you want to be free? Yeah. Like, I'm ready for you to crank that thing up right now. Yeah. Come on, don't you want to be free? You owe God praise. Yeah. You owe God praise. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you owe God praise. Yeah. No, no, this ain't just a song. Yeah. You live. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.
girdle. Mm. Now see, I can get the house now. Come on. Mm. <laughs> girdle <laughs> is a synonym to be set. Yeah. What? That girl will make everything say, come Yeah. 
And ye have begun an exhortation which speak unto you as unto children, my son. Despise not thou the chastening of the Lord, nor faint when thou rebuked of him. For whom the Lord loveth, he does what? Chasing. For whom the Lord loveth, he does what? Chasing. And scourges every son yeah. whom he what? Receive. When he receives you, he scourges you. That's right. That's the way it goes. Yeah. If you win Jesus, you're going to be scourged. That's, right. That's the way it goes. Right. Arm yourself likewise. Anybody ever read that? Right. With the same mind. Yeah. If ye endure chastening, God did it with you as with what? Son. For what son is he whom the father chasteneth not? Anybody here? I never had to whoop none of my children a day in my life. I got 12 children. We saved, sanctified, and filled with the Holy Ghost. And because we saved, they ain't never done nothing. Huh? Whew. Come on. Good for you. Yeah. So he did it with you as with what? Sons. So a loving father, this is some things that a loving father would do. Natural father. Love that children's mother. Okay? Love them unconditionally. Make sure that your children know that you love them no matter what. This is a loving father. Grow up. Meaning I can admit when I'm wrong. That's right. Amen. I can I can tell you that I'm getting better with my parental growth. Amen. We're talking about us. Amen. Be there for them. Yes. Provide for them. Yes. Discipline them. That's right. Value education. Mm -hmm. This is what we do for our children. Yes. Raise them to leave. Put them in position to go out. Some people in the spirit has gone out and you're not in position. Now this goes to the folks where the mail is coming at your house, your old address. Yeah. A parent will not, I remember an infraction, I'm sure you don't mind me telling it, I had an infraction with one of my sons and I said, you know what, you just get on out of here. Cause grown folks ain't had their own place. Right. Baby, huh? Oh really? <laughs> Yeah. Hey, he packed that stuff up. And I'm like, oh, Jesus, I was afraid I was just mad. Woo! Oh, Lord, I ain't made it like that. Child, you ain't got to go to Man, you talking about somebody was scared. I was like, oh, Lord, please touch him, Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> so, I had to humble myself. Okay, son. Slow down. Let's talk about this. Mm -hmm. What I said about you getting out, I ain't mean that. That's right. He being the drums for the church. Mm -hmm. We worked it out. Mm -hmm. Right? Right. It wasn't God's will for him to go out ahead of time. That's right. The enemy was waiting for him. Yeah. Oh, that's what the devil wanted. Yeah. To scoop him up so he can be out there yeah. instead yeah. of in here. Y'all right. follow me? Yeah. I, ain't, I ain't taking no jab. I'm just telling the truth now. So, verse 8. But if ye be without chastisement, whereof all are partakers, mm -hmm. then ye are, y'all see that word, I don't yeah. like to say it, and not sons. Furthermore, we have had fathers of our flesh which corrected us, yeah. and when we gave them reverence, Shall we not much rather be in subjection unto the Father of spirits and live? Yeah, that's right. So our natural father, and I use myself, my natural father, my father of the flesh, he did not raise me. He did not take care of me. And basically, I kept the relationship going. And there were times where I got weary with, I felt like, well, hey, I, I mean, I didn't see my phone ring sometimes. And my husband would tell me, babe, you do your part. Amen. He said, I lost both of my parents in one year. And when he go, you're going to miss him. Mm -hmm. So I would have to humble myself and keep in contact with my dad, even though he, didn't, he wasn't that type of man. Mm -hmm. Well, I didn't know that I was going to end up having to move him here and take care of him. Amen. See, if I didn't have somebody tell me the right thing, yeah. I would have been acting out. Yeah. He would have been sick on his last days, 
And then I'll be crying every time I see his picture. Because I didn't do what was right when I had the opportunity to do what was right. right. But even though he didn't take care of me, now this is the father of my flesh. Right. I still did what was right concerning him. That's right? right? That's right. How much more the father of our spirit? That's right. How much more should we be willing to do everything that's right for the father of spirit? And he chastised us. God is a spirit. Yeah. So when he chastised us, he used FedEx, UPS, and the traditional mailman. That's how he rebuked us sometimes. That's how he chastised us. That's how he scourges us. Y'all agree? Amen. That's good. So I'm getting ready to close right here. For they barely, verse 10, for a few days chasing us after their own pleasure. Yeah. Mm. You ever got a whooping and you like, man, it's over now. Mm -hmm. You done beat me for everything I did this year. <laughs> and you still respect them the next time you saw them. Amen. But in the church, we can't take nothing. In the world, we will, some of us was in abusive relationships. Mm. Beat you for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Man. And you still will. Yeah. And in the church, we can't take nothing. Yeah. You've been reset. You can't take nothing in the church, you've been reset. Yeah. Now, no chastening for the present seeming to be joyous, but grievous. I'm in 11. Mm -hmm. Nevertheless, after it yielded the peaceable fruit of what? Righteousness. Unto them which are what? See that? Amen. Wherefore, lift up the hands, which what? Amen. And the what? Feeble knees. In order to do that, you got to admit that your hands are hanging down and your knees are feeble. Right. You got to admit that you're wrong. You got to admit that your spirit hasn't been right. You got to acknowledge that, and that's the only way you're going to be able to get help. Amen. And make straight paths for your feet. Here we go right here. Yeah. Least that which is lame be what? If you don't get that thing straight, you're going to be turned out the way. But let it rather be what? Healed. I had a post that says, be healed so you can get the message without the filter of your wound. All these messages been coming over the last year, but you're listening and to it through your wound, so you're rejecting it. You're kicking it out, you can't receive it, and you're behind time on getting right with God. Which is why here we go, the man of God leading prayer, and he says sin is in the camp. So it says, looking diligently, lest any man fail of the grace of God, lest any root of bitterness springing up trouble you. Yes. Yes. Root of bitterness. That's right. Some have a root of bitterness. That's right. And thereby many be defiled. That's why you got to click. When that root of bitterness ring up with you, that's why you got to click. That's why you don't want to call. That's why you so in sync. Mm, amen. Uh. Defile many. <laughs> so it says, follow peace, 14, with all men yeah. and holiness, without which, what? No man. no man shall see the Lord. Okay? That's right. So, Let's go to 28. And this is where I'm going to close it. He went on to talk about Esau and how Esau sold his birthright. Mm -hmm. And he sought hard with tears for repentance, but he did not receive it. Amen. And we don't want to get to that point. That's right. Repent now. Wherefore, we receiving a kingdom which cannot be moved, let us have what? Grace. Grace. Whereby we may what? God. How? Exactly. With what? Reverence. And what? God Let's say that again. Whereby we may serve God. What? Exactly. With what? Reverence. And what? Godly fear. Acceptably, acceptably with reverence and godly fear. This is what we need in the church. Amen. For our God is a what? Consuming fire. Back into the hands of the pulpit. Amen. Amen.